Hello, everyone. We are back for hole number eight here. And uh, setting up my bag and ball, I'm going to use a power three ball. Yesterday I used a kingmaker. Today I'm going to use a bunny. So just to get a little bit of extra wind reduction, I do think this hole is going to benefit greatly from it. Um, also keep in mind that I'm going to try to get dialed in on kind of a max ring adjustment just to make that adjustment period for you guys a little bit easier. It does set up very close to a mid club ball. So you could use that mid club ball and say 20% or maybe 25%. Hey, how did I put in 10.1 and then 10.1 actually showed up as the wind? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset significantly, similarly to this, with my guide. And we are going to hopefully go these max rings. There's 10, 11.4. <clears throat> that looks pretty good. It just looks like the wind effect that I'm not... I mean, that wind is really pushing it on this hole. We're shooting down to a lower target. You're probably going to need some kind of curl to offset it, or you're going to have to stick with a kingmaker ball. So the ring adjustment um, at either plus 10 or, say, for instance, if you wanted to use that mid-club number, maybe plus... Uh, 20 or plus 25 percent would probably get you in the ballpark um, the the biggest thing to consider is you know that's the second straight time that my wind effect hasn't been enough even reducing the wind it still wasn't enough and you could see what i was doing with my wind effect was uh you know pushing it at least two guides out two two grids over minimum it might even have been a little bit more than that, maybe two and a quarter, two and a half, somewhere in there. And still not even close to offsetting that wind. So do keep in mind that the wind is significantly pushing that ball. I mean, it's still what, like four grids <laughs> light. So you're going to need a very significant uh, adjustment to kind of offset that. So what I'm going to recommend is, you know, a ton of left spin, um, potentially with a kingmaker. Um, so that might be, you know, the route to go. Or another thing that you can do is you should be able to get away with win five balls. So a Bandera ball with almost, you know, a lot of very, very good spin. I'll try to do a power one ball as well. At least so we can see that these, you know, so you've seen a kingmaker now. You've seen a bunny, which is win three, win four. I'll try to do for my last revision is a win five and start to get a little bit more dialed in with the offset as well. So I'll do a little bit more. Keep in mind with a win five, you won't need to quite offset as much as, um, you know, a win three ball. So um, it will be less offset, but obviously it's probably going to still be at least what I'm doing in this video. So good luck with that eighth hole. Um, I do really recommend that approach for you guys. And make sure that you rotate the screen similar to this video and count your rings that way. So be on the lookout for my third revision um, and catch you guys on the next one.